Act. Well, space heaters and extension cords are one of the leading causes of house fires this time of year. When you put the two together, the risk is even higher. As News Channel 7's Tyler Allender reports, firefighters and electricians are on the same page when it comes to your safety. After a house fire on Craft Avenue in Panama City Wednesday morning, firefighters and electricians say residents need to be careful not to plug in too much power to one outlet. In this case, space heaters did not cause the fire, but too many of them were plugged into one source. The breaker box did pop and did its job, um, but the trouble is, is that it was an overloaded circuit, so we got, some, we got some arcing back there, and that's what caused this fire. And if you're going to use extension cords, buying a heavy-duty one as opposed to a cheaper one is the safest option. Some of the extension cords, you know, are fairly cheap, and they're just, none of them are designed to have anything heavy on top of them. It causes heat when the electricity is running through there. Just good common sense is going to cover most of the problems. Electricians also say it's important with the holiday season approaching not to overdo the circuits from the outside units as well. People want to light up their yards. They want to just keep adding and adding and adding and you're only limited as to what you can do by you know the supply that you've got going out there. And don't forget to keep those combustible items away from extension cords and space heaters. Oftentimes it's curtains, clothes or bags. It doesn't take much to spark a fire. Those cords won't carry 20 amps without getting hot and melting and that's where you get your electrical fires from. In Panama City, Tyler Allender, News Channel 7. Now, Dave Capps says it's important not to bypass any codes, and you may be better off calling a licensed electrician to help with your wiring needs, especially if you're collecting too many extension cords. Well,